Today I'll be demonstrating the dashed line pattern. For this pattern you're going to need two strands of dark blue and two strands of light blue. You're going to line your strings, fold them in half to form a loop. You're going to tie a knot about a half inch from the top of the loop. You want to pull it tight. And this is the loop that you're going to secure under your butterfly clip. For this pattern, you're going to want to line your strings in slots 3, 4, 7, and 8. Those are going to be dark blue. Now this is going to be a little bit different. In slots 5 and 6, you're going to actually use two strands of light blue. You're going to have one string in slots 3, 4, 7, and 8. Those will all be dark blue. And in slots 5 and 6, you're going to have two strands each of light blue. To begin this pattern, you're going to take string number 5, which is actually 2, and you're going to make a single right, single left hand knot with string number 6. So you're going to make your number four, pull both strings through one time, make your backwards four. Pull through once, you're going to place your strings from slot five back into slot five and your original strings in slot six will go back in the same slot. Now you're going to take string number three, which is dark blue, and you're going to make a right hand double knot with string number four. So you're going to make your number four through once, second time, place the one string in slot three, your original blue string into slot four. Now you're going to take that same dark blue string from slot four and you're going to make a single right, single left knot with strings from slot five. So you're going to make your number four, you're going to pull through once, you're going to make your backwards four, pull through once. The light blue strings will go on slot five, your dark blue string into slot four. Now you're going to take string number eight, which is dark blue, make a left hand double knot with string number seven, which is also dark blue. So you're going to pull through once, twice, place the one blue string in slot eight, your original blue string will go into slot seven. Now you're going to take that same dark blue string from slot seven and make a single left, single right knot with the strings in slot number six. So you're going to make your backwards four, you're going to pull through once, you're going to make your regular four, pull through once. Your light blue strings will go in slot six and your dark blue string into slot seven. Now you're going to take your strings from slot number five and you're going to make a single right, single left hand knot with string number six. So you're going to make your number four, pull through one time, Make your backwards four, pull through one time, and your strings will go back into their original slots. Now you're going to take the string from slot number three, which is dark blue, and you're going to make a right hand double knot with the dark blue string from slot number four. So you're going to pull through once, second time, place the one string in slot three, your original dark blue string will go into slot four. Now you're going to take that same dark blue string and you're going to make a single right, single left hand knot with string number five. You're going to make your regular four, pull through once, make your backwards four, pull through again. The light blue strings will go into slot five, your dark blue string into slot number four. Now you're going to take string number eight, which is dark blue, and you're going to make a left hand double knot with string number seven. You're going to pull through once, twice, the one blue string will go in slot eight, your original blue string into slot seven. Now you're going to take that original dark blue string and make a single left, single right hand knot with string number six. So you're going to make your backwards four, pull through once, make your regular four, pull through once, the light blue strings in slot six, dark blue string will go in slot seven. Now you're going to take string number five 
and you're going to make a single left, single right hand knot with string number six. So you're going to make your regular four, pull through once, make the backwards four, pull through once, and your light blue strings will go back into their original slots. Now you're going to take string number three, which is dark blue, and make a right hand double knot with string number four. You're going to pull through once, a second time, place the one string in slot three, your original working string will go into slot four. Now you're going to take that same dark blue string from slot four, you're going to make a single right, single left knot with the strings in slot five. So you're going to make your regular four, pull through once, then you're going to make your backwards four, pull through once, light blue strings will go in slot five, dark blue string into slot four. Now you're going to take string number eight, make a left hand double knot with string number seven. Both these strings should be dark blue. You're going to put one string into slot eight, your original blue string will go into slot seven. You're going to take that same blue string from slot seven, you're going to make a single left, single right knot with string number six. So you're going to make your backwards four, pull through once, make your regular four, pull through once, the light blue strings will go on slot six, dark blue string into slot seven. At this point you've completed one rotation of your pattern. At this point you can see how the pattern has developed. Now I'm going to go step by step through the written instructions. You're going to start with step five. You're going to take the strings from slot number five, which are both light blue, and make a single right, single left knot with string number six. So you're going to make your regular four, pull through once. You're going to make your backwards four, pull through once. You're going to place your blue, light blue strands back into their original slots. Now you're going to do step number six. You're going to take the dark blue string from slot number three and make a right hand double knot with string number four, which should also be dark blue. You're going to pull through two times. The one string will go in slot three, your original working string into slot four. Now you're going to take that string from slot number four, which is dark blue, and you're going to make a single right, single left knot with string number five. This is going to be step number seven. So you're going to make your regular four, pull through once, make your backwards four, pull through once, dark blue string into slot four, your light blue strings back into slot five. Now you're going to take string number eight, which is dark blue, and make a left hand double knot with string number seven. This is step number eight. So you're going to pull through once, twice. The one string will go into slot number eight, your original working string into slot seven. Now you're going to do step nine. You're going to take that dark blue string from slot number seven and make a single left, single right knot with string number six. So you're going to make your backwards four, pull through once, make your regular four, pull through once, light blue strings into slot six, dark blue string into slot number seven. Now you're going to do step 10. You're going to take the strings from slot number five and make a single right, single left knot with the strings from slot number six. So you're going to make your regular four, pull through once, make your backwards four, pull through once, place your light blue strings back into their original slots. Step number 11, you're going to take string number three and you're going to make a right hand double knot with string number four. Both of these are dark blue. You're going to place your one string into slot three, your original working string will go into slot number four. Now you're going to do step number 12. You're going to take string number four, make a single right, single left knot with string number five. So you make your regular four, pull through once, make your backwards four, pull through one more time, dark blue into slot four, light blue into slot number five. Now you're going to do step 13. You're going to take string number eight, which is dark blue, and make a left hand double knot with string number seven, which is also dark blue. You want to pull through two times. The one string will go into slot eight, your original working blue string into slot number seven. Step 14, you're going to take the dark blue string from slot seven and make a single left, single right hand knot with string six. You make your backwards four, pull through once, make your regular four, Pull through once, light blue strings in slot six, dark blue string into slot seven. 
Now you're gonna do step number 15. You're gonna take the light blue strings from slot five, make your single right, single left hand knot with string six. So you're gonna make your regular four, pull through one time, make your backwards four, pull through once. Your light blue strings go back into their original slots. Now you're gonna move on to step number 16. You're gonna take the dark blue string from slot number three and make a right hand double knot with string number four. Pull through two times. One string into slot three, original working blue string into slot four. Step number 17, you're gonna take string number four, which is dark blue, and make a single right, single left hand knot with strings from slot number five. So make your regular four, pull through once, make your backwards four, pull through once, light blue strings in slot five, dark blue string into slot four. Now you're gonna do step number 18. You're gonna take string number eight, which is blue, and make a left hand double knot with the blue string from slot number seven. So you're gonna pull through once, twice, place the one dark blue string in slot eight, your original working blue string into slot seven. Now you're gonna do step number 19. You're gonna take that dark blue string from slot number seven, and make a single left, single right hand knot with string six. So you make your backwards four, you make your regular four, place the light blue strings in slot six, the dark blue string in slot seven. At this point, you've completed another rotation of your pattern. You'll want to repeat steps five through 19 to continue your pattern until the bracelet is long enough to fit your wrist. Once your bracelet is long enough to fit your wrist, you're gonna to wanna to take the two strings from slots three and four in your left hand the two strings in slots seven and eight in your right, and braid them with the four remaining center strands. What you're gonna to wanna to do is tie a knot at the end of your bracelet. So you're gonna take your strings, throw them over, pull through, and try and make the knot as close to the end of the bracelet as you can. You're gonna do that once, second time and try and get that knot either on top or as close to the first one as you can. Once you've made your two knots, take your bracelet from the bracelet maker and your bracelet is complete.